Toyota Cruisers, it's 42 foot, built in America. It's a um, 240 volt gen set and V8 motors. Um, you got a master bedroom with an island bed. It's quite good. Um, separate air conditioning, and you got a, a second room with a single that pulls out to a double bed. That's air conditioned too. And then you move on into the bathrooms. You got a separate shower and toilet. Um, electric with hot water. In the lounge room, you have another pull-out lounge that pulls out to a double bed, and that's all separately air conditioned too. Yeah. So. so. Tell me what, what you like as a boat to use. Sensational. It's really good. Um, I've had it for seven years. Absolutely loved it. It's just roomy, good volume and stairs so you can walk around. It's full walk around. No climbing ladders. Tell me about how big the uh, cockpit area is. No, well, as you can see, the cockpit's really roomy. You can put eight, ten people out here talking and having a drink, sharing nibblies, and you got the fly bridge and you can sit 12 people up there comfortably. While the boat's cruising along and you're inside the clears, you're fully protected from the weather. So how's the boat go? Goes good. It's um, very reliable, starts first time every time, and yeah, just cruises along nicely at eight knots. It's a very social boat, you can have a talk and have a drink while you're driving. They're 440 horsepower each, running through a velvet drive gearbox, for neutral and reverse, um, brand new four blade props, Boat just hums along beautifully. Motors kick over really nice and it's always per. We've had new stainless steel extractors fitted um, and all the fresh water cooling systems being reconditioned and pressure tested. So the boat's basically ready to go. The boat is more than ready to go. Yeah. It's going to be a great bike for someone. Um, lots and lots of fun. Moving up to another boat, a bigger boat, to Liverboard now. Yes, I was a regretful sailor, but Got to move on sometimes. <laughs>